Sunday School. Today we will continue David's lesson. Um, and today's lesson is called David and Goliath. Well, we continue with our friend David. You remember David? Here's David. Let's see. Here is David. Last time, we talked about how he was anointed by Samuel. I don't have Samuel's image right now, but he was the old guy, the old prophet guy with the horn full of oil that anointed David. Well, he was anointed by Samuel and to be the next king. But there was a, a king at that time. And his name was Saul. And he was leading David's people into war with the Philistines. David didn't go to war. He couldn't go to war because he was too young. David was basically like a kid. And um, he was too young to go to war. And the Philistines had a giant among their warriors a giant almost 10 feet tall can you imagine? do you know someone as tall as 10 feet tall i mean that's higher than your living room that's really high so they had this giant among them and his name was Goliath, and I'm going to show you an image of Goliath. He was, oops, he was big, and he looks mean here and strong. Can you see, you know, the comparison? David, Goliath. David, Goliath. David, Goliath. Like, that's, that's a... Uh, uh, Big advantage that Goliath had. Um, so, do you remember um, you, you, the video was uh, the 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 oh holy moly's video was the first thing that you should have seen. Um, so, do you remember what happened after King Saul and his army saw Goliath? That was really funny. Do you remember what happened? Ah! And they hid. They hid. The whole army hid. And they screamed. Do you remember what David did? Did David hide? Do you remember if David hide? No. David did not hide, but the king did, and the army did. So, which character would you rather be in this story? King Saul? Some guy in the army? Goliath? Or David? I would love to be David. He was brave, even though he was young. He was really brave. David was given the K King Saul's armor. Do you remember that? Like while they were hiding, he just <laughs> throw his armor and his sword. So David agreed to, you know, um, uh, uh, um, I, to battle Goliath. And he put on the, the armor King Saul gave him and he armed himself with his sword and he confronted Goliath. But do you remember what happened? That armor was really heavy, right? And the sword was heavy. Did you see how he was trying to handle the sword and he couldn't? 
how could he win with that heavy armor that didn't fit him and, and, and that heavy, heavy sword? What would you do to stop a bully like Goliath? Because he was kind of a bully, right? He was laughing at, at David because he was so little and, 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 and he was struggling with the armor. Like, he was a bully. I don't like him. So what would you do? What would, a, what, what would you do or what would you say to stop a bully? That's a good question. Hmm. We should think about that. So David discovered that Actually, he really didn't need um, that huge, heavy armor, nor the sword. He had something that he was good at and he had with him that he could use and could be effective in um, winning this battle. Do you remember what he used? He used his slingshot that's interesting because i wouldn't think that a slingshot can kill a giant for sure i wouldn't be able to kill the giant with a slingshot but even though david was small and very young and didn't have any war experience god was with him and god gave him the boldness and 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 the strength that he needed and the aim <laughs> to kill goliath so he, he used the slingshot he picked a stone and he psh, killed goliath hit right here in the forehead and killed him and in doing so he won the battle against the philistines so, and I know that you know that the crowd went wild. <sighs> David, 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 David. But let's go and read the story. The story is called Everything He Needed. While David looked after his sheep on the prairie, the Israelites spied something quite scary. The Philistine army was taking a stand. At the front of the pack stood a mighty big man. His name was Goliath, his legs big as trees. He took on Saul's soldiers by ones, twos, and threes. The Israelites' failure brought Goliath delight. Ha, ha, ha. Do you remember how, how he laughed? But David stepped up and told Saul he'd fight. I'll do it, he said. And King Saul stepped aside as the Israelites gladly went running to hide. Huh. What a bad army. See, he's wearing the, the armor. Then a moment of insight, a spark from the Lord. I'm not gonna win this fight with a sword. David, David remembered he was not unprepared. While tending his sheep, he fought lions and bears. He was brave. There he is using the slingshot against the bear and the lion, see? So he dropped the sword. He shed all the armor. With one last loud clatter, he said his gaze high, I'll tend to this matter. And then he shed. Shed. 
The Philistine giant was teasing and taunting, but David no longer saw him as daunting. He knelt down to choose a pebble just right. He took out his sling and with all of his might, a snap and whoosh, and the smooth stone took flight. A thump, then a thug. You could feel for a mile the giant had fallen at the hand of a child. The Philistines fled. Saul's men shouted, hooray! Young David was truly the hero of the day. That's the end of our story. David was good with his slingshot. He was very good. So that's what he needed. He discovered that he didn't need um, a, 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 a sword, a heavy armor. No, all he needed was, was his skills, the things that he was very good at. David's skills were greater than Goliath's height. Can you believe that? What are you good at? What are you good at? I bet you are good at something or many things. I am good at making friends. I am good at um, dancing. And sometimes I am good at singing. What are your skills? What are you good at? So, our craft for today has to do with our skills. So, you're gonna take this from your packet, this right here, and you see this like kind of a, it looks a little bit like an arrow. So, here it says, I am good at, and so you're gonna put your name here, or if you don't know how to write your name, you're gonna ask for help um, from one of the adults in your house or maybe a brother or a sister. You're gonna put your name here and you're gonna make a drawing of whatever is it that you are good at. Like, for example, if I am good at making friends, I'm gonna draw myself here with another person. But if you are good at playing basketball, um, draw basketball, or if you are good at whatever sport, um, draw that. After you do that, and obviously, color David, you are going to use your scissors, and you are going to cut, guess where? Along the blue line. Yes, you're going to cut along the blue line. After you do that, we're going to turn the page and we are going to cut on these blue lines. Now, we're going to need either a piece of paper the size of this one, doesn't matter what type of paper, um, or if you have construction paper at home, use a, a one construction paper sheet. And once you cut on these lines, you have to cut with your scissor on these lines, this will be a puzzle. Put the puzzle together and color it, okay? And that's going to give you an image of today's story. This is, this is going to be giving you an image of the Philistine um army this and this big mean goliath but you have to first cut them paste them here on your piece of uh whatever sheet you're using could be like from a notebook or a regular um piece of paper that you would use um for a copier or just construction paper paste them here in order like a puzzle 
and then color them, okay? Well, that's our craft for today. Take a picture of your craft once you finish and let us see it. I bet it's better than mine. I will do the same with mine. And now let's close our class with a prayer. Let's take our favorite prayer position and repeat after me. Thank you, God, for giving us what we need to solve problems. Help us be ready to use our bodies, brains, and hearts to do the right thing every day. Amen. And I'll be seeing you next week. Have a great week and God bless.